Kreuzo, welcome to this instructional video on the management of epistaxis or nosebleed in the emergency department and on the ward. To make things simpler in Swansea Bay, we have a six step management algorithm for epistaxis. This can be followed from ABCDE recess, simple first aid, cautery, as well as nasal packing and surgical intervention. Step 3. Examination and identification of the bleeding point. The next step should be to try to establish where the bleeding is coming from. The vast majority of bleeding is anterior, originating in Little's area, alternatively known as Kaiselbach's plexus on the medial septum. Apart from where they are located, there are some important differences between anterior and posterior bleeding. Anterior bleeding is more common in younger people and easier to manage. Bleeding will be predominantly from the nostrils, initially from one nostril only, but it can sometimes trickle to the throat, especially on tilting the head backwards, applying first aid, or when the nose is full of clot. A small minority of bleeds are posterior and originate from Woodruff's plexus. They are more commonly seen in elderly people and are often more difficult to manage and more dangerous. Unlike the anterior bleeds, the majority of the blood goes down the postnasal space into the throat as well as out of both nostrils. Bleeding will also continue to be brisk despite anterior packing. 